When thinking of Harbor Freight tool lines, we might think of Hercules and Bauer. It could be said that Harbor Freight promotes these lines more than any other. At least we can say they have a high visibility. Hercules is considered to be a better tool line than Bauer. But Bauer has more tools than Hercules. The Bauer line might be considered the DIY line for the weekend warrior. As for Hercules, Harbor Freight is comparing this line to traditional commercial lines, at least originally. I do agree that the Hercules 12-inch compound miter saw compared to the miter saws offered by DeWalt outperforms and has a better price point, and if there is a problem, Harbor Freight says swap it out at the nearest store. I've had the Hercules miter saw, and I've used the better DeWalt miter saws, and strongly believe the Hercules will become the default contractor miter saw. The judgment about tools is not what I think or what you think, but will it stand up to normal use as a commercial tool or a DIY tool? If you are like me, the tools I use most, I want better tools. If I use it only occasionally, a budget tool will most likely work well for my needs. Hercules tools cost more than the Bauer line, but the question is, is the Hercules line actually better than the Bauer line? Stick around and let's find out. Hi anyone, I'm Scott Bain. They call me the old farmer. Except for a few accessories and the Hercules 12-inch compound miter saw, I'm in the Bauer line. It's because the batteries are not interchangeable. If they were, I would consider getting some of the Hercules power tools when I know that I will be using the particular tool more often. But should I? The important question is, do we even know if the Hercules line is actually better than the Bauer line? About the only difference that we can see as customers are the price differences and some of the specifications are stated differently. Harbor Freight is upgrading the Bauer line to brushless motors. A few of the Hercules tools are starting to be brushless, but not as fast as the Bauer line. I would think that after all of the Bauer line is upgraded, they may come back and do the same for Hercules. But maybe not. Harbor Freight has been treating Hercules something like a stepchild. More often than not, the upgrades happen to be Bauer, not Hercules. Could it be that maybe Harbor Freight is thinking about dropping the Hercules line? I don't know. I say this because Harbor Freight's effort has been in the Bauer line. The YouTube channel's Den of Tools Project Farm Derek's Workshop and Projects and the Torque Test channel are just some of the channels that demonstrate that Hercules and Bauer can hang in there with the best of tools. The channels are listed below in the comments if you're interested, but for me what I see is that both tool lines are pretty much the same. The difference appears to come down to a specific tool. That means if you buy five Hercules and five Bauer impact wrenches, as an example, some of the Hercules and some of the Bauer will outperform the other line. We tend to think that all the specific tools in a line will perform the same as the tool you or I purchased. This is not even close to the truth. For Harbor Freight, it's how many of the tools will come back. For me, I want to see a 1-3% to return rate, not 5% or higher. I had to take back my first Bauer drill driver. The chuck was throwing bits and the battery control was atrocious. I've had no problems with the replacement. It comes down to the fact that the Bauer and the Hercules tools are the same for all practical purposes. 
From the testing by YouTubers, the Bauer and the Hercules lines fall about where I would expect them to fall. That is, in the middle of the upper range to the middle of the bottom range of tools. In other words, the middle half of the tool range. This is comparing with common contractor tools. Since these are power tools, being brushless makes it, in most instances, a better tool. There are times when you need brush tools because of the ability of generating more power. But for hand tools, most times it's better if it's a brushless tool. This is why I chose comparing these drills in both lines. They are not brushless. By looking at the many results by YouTubers, it is apparent that there is no noticeable difference between the two lines. Is it worth having both lines, Hercules and Bauer? In my opinion, when talking about battery-powered tools, no. If I had to recommend one of the tool lines and only one, I would suggest the Bauer. That's not to say anything about the corded Hercules tools. That's a separate issue. But overall, it appears there is little difference between the two lines. And I might remind everyone, for most situations, either line will work, even for commercial work, too. Before we go, it's important to quickly mention for all who are visiting to subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment, and share with friends and family. Now for the most important part, thank you to those who have subscribed. Thank you. And yes, thank you to those who are visiting. We value you too. We're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers so that we may receive a pittance from YouTube to cover expenses. We replaced one camera, tripod, and bought a water-cooled editor for video production, plus all the tools we review. So if you could help us reach that 1,000 subscription point, thank you. Well, this is the old farmer Scott Bain. Be well, be safe, and be kind to someone. The VFW National Home for Children, providing families of veterans and active duty military opportunities for growth and development in a nurturing community. Please consider a donation to help their children and families. Icy Road speaking.